We just turned the flavor meter on the breakfast game to a whole new notch. Breakfast patty melt with a homemade bacon and onion jam. If you guys want to see this, here we go. Nothing screams a breakfast sandwich like an onion bacon jam. To get started, we need a little fire, you know, a little stove. My boys at TMG Pits hooked me up. We don't have a name for it yet. You guys can leave a comment below. Reminds you like a little robot. We got the propane tank holder on the bottom. Comes up, it's got a big old fat burner on top. 100% American steel, 100% American made. They did a fantastic job. This is a prototype. I think my next one's gonna be a little bit different. I already know some things I wanna change about it. If you guys are interested, hit me up or hit them up. It's pretty cool. Looking over the ingredients for the bacon jam, this is what we got. You got yourself about a pound of bacon. This is almost like an applewood smoked bacon. I thought it would pair perfectly well. We got some onions, some brown sugar. We have some garlic, some seasonings. We have some chili powder, black pepper, and some red pepper, some apple cider vinegar, and the star of the show. My mother-in-law just came back from the great state of Pennsylvania. Found this little shop or place on the road. Uh, Maple Hill Farms. If you're familiar with that area, familiar with that brand, amen to you. This stuff is fantastic. It's almost like a, like a light uh, molasses. It's got like those burning notes in there, but... She knows I like my dark, my dark water. So she hooked her son all up and got a bourbon aged barrel, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. This is what we're using in this uh, recipe today. I highly recommend you using a real maple syrup on this one, not the, uh, not the, the, the funny stuff. Uh, it just helps the flavor go a long ways. When you're making onion bacon jam, you really want these flavors to sing because you can't make the sandwich without it. And you can make this with a lot of different things. So let's get started. Just working on a small dice right there, not a big deal. We're gonna start rendering the bacon out, and getting it crispy. While the bacon's going, we just got a large sweet Vidalia onion. Give it a small dice. All that fat's rendered out, so we're just going to simply take the bacon and drain it. I'm going to save that bacon grease because we all know in the South, bacon grease reigns supreme. Save about four to five tablespoons. Once the bacon's done cooking, we're going to add the onions. Turn that temperature down to like a low, medium low. Saute this, let all these onions sweat out. Get up all that fond off the off the uh, skillet, and you're just going to basically cook these until you start seeing some color, but very very low temperature. You don't want to scorch these onions. You don't want to get that temperature too high. I can even turn mine down a little bit. Onions are cooked down about half the way that we need them to. You can see that we deglaze that pan nicely. That's just with the natural um, moisture from the onions. We're going to add that garlic to there. Same thing. Keep cooking them down. We're not there yet. Onions have cooked down. We're gonna add the bacon, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, our seasonings, and that bourbon barreled maple syrup. Mix that all together. We're gonna to stew it down. About seven to 10 minutes on medium low. Get all those ingredients worked in together. and really cook it, cook it, cook it. All righty, we just cut the heat on the jam. I'm just gonna let it sit here and cool down. You can see how thick it got. Just let me show you really quick. Patience is rewarded. Let it go low. It continues to cook the onions, reduces that syrup. And I've been just taking like a little rubber spatula and hitting them sides. And it should look something like that. All right, let's get started on the sausage and the toast. Got myself some sausage and we're gonna cut a little bit thicker than normal. So let's take the tip off. Typically a sausage would go there. So let's take about right there. Really just depends on how wide your bread is. We got two choices today. We have a sourdough and we have some rye bread. So traditionally a patty melt goes on a rye bread. So I thought what better way to add the knot in there, but sourdough will work just as well. So. Griddle's heating up. We're gonna be able to smash these just like we would a burger. Griddle's coming up to temp. We just got some butter down. 
and we're just looking for a nice golden brown toast on that. This is our seedless rye bread. This is our sourdough. Alrighty, the toast is off. Got a little butter going down. I'm gonna put some, probably like some sunny side up slash over easy eggs. I want that egg yolk to bust on the sandwich. Just a touch of seasoning. We're not going to keep it on there long. Crank that temp up to a medium. You're looking about 400 to 425. Now we're going to smash the sausage. In honor of the patty melt, we got our Swiss cheese, and now we got our smokehouse cheddar. Kind of like the idea of the perfect sandwich when it comes to breakfast. If you think about it, you got your onions for the patty melt aspect. You got your bacon for the breakfast idea. You got the sausage to carry the meat. The sweetness, kind of like the idea of your pancakes, your waffles. I don't know if you can get any better. There we go. The bacon onion jam breakfast patty melt. Golly, that looks good. All righty. Moment of truth. Everything's calmed down. Griddle's clean. Oh, that's a good song. That's a good song. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that dippage. Oh, okay. Oh. Picture, picture. Hang on, picture. Hold it. That was too pretty not to take a picture. All right, moment of truth. Good old smoked sausage. That Parnell's. Look at it. Whoop. Don't mind if I do. That bacon jam. Mmm. Damn. You know, on my face. Uh-huh. When I thought about making this sandwich, I did not want to add the Swiss cheese because I thought, although it's a uh, paid homage to the traditional patty melt, I was like, ah. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought about how much sweet there was with the jam, and it needs something to balance it out, and that's the kicker. The Swiss cheese on this sandwich is the kicker. I'm not going to take another bite. <laughs> you get the holy grail. Mm. The toasted bread with the butters on point. Mmm. Mmm. I typically don't like sweet and savory in the mm. same bite. And that has got me smiling. What's mm. got you smiling, son? <laughs> that breakfast sandwich, son? Good oh, that's good. Hang on. Mm. <laughs> that is super good. <laughs> oh, you need a napkin. <laughs> you could add some orange liqueur. Maybe a little bit of orange marble, like some orange peel. I don't think you need to. Well, I was thinking about if you're talking about like a turkey. You know, kind of oh. like that citrus. You just play around with it. It's a good, fantastic base, and you could work with it from there. Golly, that is... That is give me another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to enjoy this one. This is <laughs> honestly so... You guys make fun of us because you're like, nothing can ever be that good all it the time. It is. Honestly, it is. We're pretty honest with each other. Yeah. I'm giving stuff 7 we, out of 10, 4 out of 10. We have super high expectations of ourselves. If and I was in the breakfast business and this was an option, this would definitely have to be on the menu. Yeah. It's amazing. This is good.
there's there's a lot of times we we don't even like to go out to restaurants because we know that we can make better than a restaurant at home. Jeez, if you're making this, <laughs> comment below. Comment below <laughs> let me know what you think so you don't think I'm crazy. If you're interested, check us out on Instagram and check us out on Facebook. As always, hit that join button down below because there's a membership program and we thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. The Swiss cheese. Do you agree with the Swiss cheese? I think everything Just everything together, combined? The whole... The texture? All the flavors together are perfect.